Okay, so in this problem here, you know we have, um, these are going to row, these are villages, and the postman's got to walk along all these edges, and he wants to do the shortest possible route to minimize the distance. So this is the classic Chinese postman, but I like to call it the snowplow problem. It's all about the edges. Right, and so when we're doing that, we actually look at all the odd vertices. So the odd vertices we have A, because it has, I can see there's three. Uh, B has three. D, so I have A, B, D, and H. So H is three, these got four, four, this is five, two, two, and so on. Okay, so now when I have this, I need to now consider all the possible combinations, right? So it could be A, B, and D, H. Or it could be A, D, and B, H. Or it could be A, H, and D, B. So if I look at this scenario here, A, B, it's clearly 38, or D, H. D, H is going to be 26 plus 23 is going to be the shortest way. So if I add those up, I can see that A, B is 38, D, H is 49 when I add 26 and 39. When I go to A to D, going to here, well, I can see that the 30 and 23, that's 53. And then B to H, B to H is going to be 60, 70, 2 here. Yeah, that's for sure going to be the shortest. So 38 and 72. So AD, I said, was 53, and BH is going to be 38 plus 35. And then finally, if I look at A to H is 35, and that was an easy one, 35, and D to B, D to B is, looks like it's going to be 88. Um, looking at all the possible common, it's going to be 88, just straight across. And so clearly this is going to be the shortest one. So this is going to be 87. This is going to be, oh, 11, 16, carry the 1. This is going to be 126. And this is 3, carry the 1, and that's going to be... 123. So clearly A to B and D H are the shortest extra bits. So in essence I'm going to add up all of the edges. So it's going to be 35 plus 30 plus 38 plus 26 plus 43 plus 35 plus 88 plus 56 plus 39, plus 23, plus 32, plus 43, plus 40, and plus 61. I believe I got them all. And if I look at the answer sheet, I can say that that's going to be, this one here is going to be 546 plus the 87 should be in total 633, which is the minimum distance in total. Okay, so now if we look at B part here, it says a friend offers to pick him up from H and, and to at the end of round and take him back to A. So in essence, what's that doing is it's actually adding an extra loop here of length zero. And so now if we consider this, <clears throat> if we look at all of these, this is now even, even the only odd ones left are B and D. So I must repeat B and D. This is the only one that is odd and odd. And so now I have to, to the 
grand total, which I know is 546, I have to add 88 to it because I have to add this length because there's even vertices here. Before, I only had to add 87. And so it doesn't actually decrease my length, it actually increases it by one. So now, finally, the state where you would advise a postman to be collected in order to minimize the length he needs to walk and find the total length of the repeated rows in this case. Well, I know he has to end up back at A. So I'm could to A, I could, the odd vertices are A, B, D, and H. We realize that in B part to go from H to A and make that zero was unhelpful. So let's not think about H, right? That's unhelpful. So I could go from A to D, making those odd. And so that would mean that the only, if I go A to D, that means if I look at my, I have to go from H to B somehow. Going from H to B, the shortest way to do that is 38 plus 35. So that would be 38 plus 35. And that is going to be from B to H. Because A is, sorry, right, because A is also gone. So that's, I would have to add this one. Or if I actually connected. Uh, let's see, if, if I actually connected B to A, this scenario, if I connect A to B, well then the odd vertices left are H to D. Because I have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. And the shortest path from H to D is 49, which is shorter than those two together. And so if I connect B to A, I will get the grand total of all of them plus 49, and that will be the best scenario to consider. One extra bit on here, we're assuming that when the person is picked up, he returns them to A. That was kind of an assumed from here, and when you look at the answers, you'll also think that tr that's true. But if that assumption is not what you are trying to believe is true, then you're trying to eliminate, you're trying to connect any of these ones. So I'm gonna connect probably B to D. And so now the shortest, so now these are odd, these are even, that's a length zero. And so now I'm trying to connect these two. And so then A to H will have to be repeated twice, which is 35. And so that's actually going to be the shortest scenario if he doesn't have to be taken to A.